What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am excited to announce that we have a new build coming on the way. Before I get into details about the new build, I would like to go back and do a little update on the Civic that we are rebuilt. So we have part one of that rebuild already uploaded. You guys could check that out on our channel if you haven't done so yet. So far we took all the damaged parts off the car and then we went ahead and wore the new parts. So all the parts that came in, we had to prep them for paint and then send it to the painter to spray them. So the car is at the shop right now getting painted and we will have that video coming up soon. But for now, let's go back to a new build. All right guys, so here is the new car. It's a 2017 Ford Mustang GT 5.0. This thing has a lot of power and uh, from, from here, it looks like we are gonna need a new door. We're gonna need a new fender and some work on a quarter panel as well. Uh, most likely we're gonna need the glass because we see that there is tape on it. Uh, and pictures we couldn't tell, so I am assuming we're gonna need it. But the plan for now is to get the car off of the trailer and then uh, give it a good wash uh, before they actually start it, let it run, uh, make sure we have enough oil and uh, make sure the engine is very strong and healthy. And then after we wash it, go over the car and see what the damage is and see what parts we need and how far uh, we're gonna have to fix this thing and get it back on the road. Yeah, we don't Mustang usually, but this is the first. Oh, okay. Ooh. Let's see if there's any oil in there. Man, the oil looks clean. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, we're gonna change the oil anyways. Check that out. All right. What is the... Let's start this baby. I, guess I think it goes in there. Nowhere. Right there? Yeah, but it doesn't have the sticky thing. Hmm. Engine start, there it is. Uh -oh. Oh. Battery's weak. Make sure this thing's on. Uh huh. It's on. Yeah. So we checked the oil and there is enough oil in there, but we're gonna change it anyway because we don't know how long the car was with that oil just to have it fresh. And we tried jumping the battery, but it looks like it's too dead. So we're gonna hook up two wires up to my car and see if it starts that way. Go 
over this and go through everything and see what we have right now but we're gonna have to wait a little bit because i want to wash it make sure it's really clean that way we see everything that's on the car all the little things scratches and so on but let's give it a wash right now clean look at that paint first of all it just sparkles so nice and this key is not bad either anyways i want to walk around the car and show you guys everything that is on it all the little damages and what we need to replace what we need to fix and what we can save so starting off with the front the bumper is good except this little corner i guess when they loaded the car in the forklift because it is pretty low they either with the forklift or with the towing guy when they unloaded it touched the bumper and it pushed the side up which broke this little clip but the clip is there so we will see if we can save that uh, it should be savable and then going this way the fender is good uh, the door is good mirrors this side is pretty much good it does come with like little lips here nice little wheels we have a little ding here that's fixable maybe we'll pop it out and then these scratches as well. And this roof right here is really nice. It comes with a black roof and not all of them come with it. I guess it's just certain models. And that is really nice because it goes along with the glass in the back making it look like a Panamera. And then the back is also nice. Check out this rear end, it's just so nice. It like glistens up. Check out this rear. Doesn't that look like a Ferrari? Ferrari GT. I love the paint on this. All right, so this is the damage. As you can see, it was hit on the side and it did hit the quarter panel right here. We are gonna talk to the frame guy, see if that could be popped out, adjusted or fixed and see what he says. If not, we're gonna have to change the skin right here on this side and uh, fix that. The side skirt was, uh, is still good. So the side skirt looks like it's still good. It was not touched at all. So we might be able to save this. If there's little clips broken, we're gonna fix that. The door we're gonna replace because that is not savable, which we're gonna get new glass, uh, the door and uh, change everything from it. Probably the sensors, maybe the door panel. And then the fender is also busted, so we're gonna change the fender as well. Uh, it doesn't need any suspension works, looks like it. Maybe we'll have to double check the front because it's really close to that fender. Uh, see if there's anything down there, but we're gonna let the lineman guy tell us if it needs to be changed or not. All right, so on the body panels, we have the fender that needs to be replaced, the door needs to be replaced. And we're gonna have to figure out something with this quarter panel right here, which we will let the frame guy tell us because it does look like it wrinkled up here. So most likely we'll have to replace it. So going inside, we have the seat airbag popped and as well as the curtain airbag right here. These will change and the seats are both blown down as well, which doesn't matter because we are planning to put a leather interior in this. So this doesn't really affect our plan. Even though these seats are pretty nice, we are gonna change them to leather. Maybe your cars, we'll see how it is. But look at the interior. On the driver's side, we also have two things that we need to change, which is gonna be the airbag right here into the seat and also this curtain airbag. And again, we are changing the seats, so this does not affect anything. And then the seat belts look like they work, so that is good. We wanna to have to uh, fix them up. So this thing is practically new. We only have 16,000 miles, which means you only had a couple oil changes, but this thing is brand new and the interior is pretty nice. I like this little trim right here. It has little designs 
kind of like carbon fiber but different color okay guys i just want to mention one more time this paint is awesome i love the color i love how it shines but anyways the plan for this thing is to go with wide body so all these little things on the fenders on the back fender the little ding over there and the bumper right here that's not gonna affect anything because we are thinking to do wide body on it but we're gonna see what kind where where we're gonna go so you guys will have to stay tuned with us and we're also thinking to do a color wrap to do exhaust on the back maybe add some body kits and see how all that looks so far the things that we need is the two airbags we got the curtain airbag and then the seat airbag and moving to the other side we have the fender we're gonna need to get the door also this mirror right here is busted i thought it was just a cap but it looks like it moves inside so we're gonna have to figure that out this could be popped out we have a guy who does dentless paint removal and then this door will be changed also these two airbags are here on the curtain and the seat and the wide body and that's it for now all right guys so that concludes the end of our video if you have not subscribed to our channel please do so so that you do not miss anything thank you again for watching and stay tuned for the next videos coming up and the next builds coming up